Oh my god, we gotta kill her. Oh my god! <laughs> no! That sounds horrible! No! No! Peter! How's it going, all you beautiful muggies? It's Muggy here, and welcome back to Riddle School 5. We are back at it again with the Riddle School series. I know, you guys thought I forgot to do the rest of the game, but nope, I didn't. I'm just holding off till we're ready to go. So if you guys are ready to go to Riddle School 5, first we gotta do the faces, and then we'll go. So let's see what we got going on. Oh, would you would you look at that? It's just a remake of the original faces of Real School 1. Yeah, Real School 1 and 5 have the same faces for Phil. That's kind of cool. See how it's like a redone, a touch-up, you know, back to where it all began. And where we're going to go is where we're going to go. So if you guys are ready for Real School 5, then let's go. Well, everyone, it seems soon our dreams will become a reality. Just all of our prisoners' realities have become dreams. We all know our new prisoners were taken from Riddle Elementary School. Enlighten our listeners and we're the reason we're here already. I was getting to that part, Wiz. Viz. <laughs> this meeting is primarily to discuss these human suspects and their new dreams. Their behavior, after all, is why and how are uh, we are going through with our plan. Yes, because evil doers deserve nothing more than the taste of their evil. This is Fred. We can read the caption next to the corner, Diz. I'm enlightening everyone, just like you said. Fred, in his dreams, does nothing close to nothing as he can manage. One of the prisoners will see me to be at least useful right now. Smiley smiles constantly within her dreams. We've tried to find intended flaws in her ways, not yet to any avail. If one human is proven to be scum, the rest are no cleaner. Her face is nothing but a cover for her ugly desires. Zack here was shivering long before he was abducted from that school. It seems impossible that he would be so ongoingly chilly. There is a chance that by looking into his unusual condition, we could power a weapon capable of freezing that pathetic planet Earth. Not Earth. No. Not Earth. Earth can be that pathetic. Come on. Huh. I could have sworn I was the one telling the presentation. And here we have the reason for our master plan. He ha we ugh, had we not witnessed firsthand Phil escape from, from his own school, Earth would not have become our first target of destruction. We can get into his brain, but what matters most is what we try to get out of it. Knowing the enemy is the best way to defeat him. Uh, this I can't remember what the plan is exactly. Quiz, you're completely useless. Well, I can clarify. With the knowledge we received from these three dream cap captives, it's planned we completely freeze their homeland, oh, homeworld, planet Earth. This procedure is to be repeated to other wrongdoing planets. I have one more question. Go ahead, Quiz. When you were just talking just a second ago, you said from the knowledge we received from these three dream captives. Didn't you mean to say four? Of course, just a slip of the tongue. Hey, whist, isn't that transmitter turned off? What if one of our subjects hears? Oh, sorry, it, you know, it was on. It'll be turned off in a sec. Plot thickens? Oh, the plot does thickens. The plot very thickens. John Bro presents. John Bro. Oh, we're waking up from a long slumber. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> you can tell it's going to be a different kind of riddle school already right off the bat. And I'm excited. This is going to this is a nice change of pace. You know the music be grooving every single time. Riddle school 5. We're in it to win it. Bed. It's a bed. Puts the fine back in solitary confinement. Bed cover. Uh, if it wasn't screwed to the wall, I could move the cover and get through. Ooh. So maybe there's something here. Light. I have a feeling that light bulb will be the only bright part of my day. 
I say that very lightly. Ah, puns, good old pun, Phil puns. Uh, the bed. Ooh, a coin, alien coin. I'd mistake this for a quarter if it wasn't for the monster picture on it. That worked for me. We can use this to unscrew the vents. Ha! Nice. This is looking quite lovely. That's one, two, three, and oh, that one didn't even have a screw. Oh, I can collect the screws. Perfect. Take this off. Go in. Hey, yo, let's go escape. I decided I don't want to do that again. Nice. We're out. Though the, the hoodie could be a, a bit more green. Kind of like this one. But maybe we might get a greener one in the next game. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? What is that? Ew. Ew. It looks kind of cute, actually. Really? I don't know, Phil. That kind of looks a bit deadly, weird, and what the fuck if that was an object? I don't want to take my chance of sneaking by the room behind it, though. Okay. Uh. Statue. Uh, there's a button on this duck statue thing, but it doesn't seem like it can do anything. I'm gonna do this stealth device. Ah, fuck. We gotta do this. Uh, it might take me a while, so we might have to just start cutting until we get the numbers. Okay, that's seven. That's zero. That's four. Now we just need one. No, I need you to disappear. There we go! Haha, <laughs> one! I knew it. I, I just tried to get that one by itself. Sweet. That's done, so we can just continue on. Uh, this, this will help us teleport. Whoa, out of mind, out of sight, out of mind. That, that works. Okay, so that's another. Let's go up. Subject 108, uh, no, 1831. Well, I don't know why I said that. What's the deal with this English class and subject verb agreement? I can't name a subject and a verb that have ever argued with each other. Oh, it's Smiley. Oh my god. Smiley! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Fuck, that hurt. I really hope there's a better way to wake up my friends. I sure hope so. Mm, I don't like seeing Smiley all sad like that. Uh, I see a tissue obviously used. There's no way I'm touching it. God damn it. Okay, so maybe somebody else has something underneath their bed. I it's been a while since I played. Ooh, key card. Perfect. I think I'll swipe this card so I can swipe the card in card key scanners. God, fuck you. <laughs> I see a photo of a puking gorilla under the bed. Doesn't quite tickle my fancy. Ew. Fred? Not you either, huh? <laughs> oh, God. No. Okay. Wait, there's a flower room. What, is, what the fuck is this? Solar light. What's that, solar? What the hell? I guess the flowers get their solar energy from this miniature star. That's pretty cool. I was what? I just have a tiny sun? I uh, would most likely be a fried egg tree if I try to do something to it. Uh, why did the Mew cat cross the street? I don't know. It, doesn't, it didn't say. <laughs> That's a fucking good one. Ooh, I can pick up this. This plant's not immediately dying, so I take it. Oh, I guess if I pull the other ones, they die? Yeah, because it needs the soil. That's why. Mm. Apparently, my green thumb leaves something to be desired. Okay, so we got that moose picture. No, you're a moose. Uh, it's a picture of a flying pizza and a sports fanatic alien child. I can't think of anything to say about that. There's a tray. Yep. Can, I, can I combine things? I think I can, but not this. Not right now. Right now. Oh wait, hold on. I'll have to think of a mutantly funny pun about that in a minute. Fuck. My brain had a stroke. Dude, we got plenty full of things, but we we need other things. Escape pods, nice. It's awfully tempting to just fly right out of this place, but I would think I think my friends would like me more if I saved them all first. I don't know, Fred. I mean, you could just ditch them. What the fuck? It's a pool of acid. I'm baffled by how the acid pool doesn't affect the wooden floor. What? What is this? Physics? Come on, man. Real school five. But what about four? I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's a hook. That's a stake. Might come in handy if I could only get it without being covered in acid. What the hell? Oh, there's a door. I can faintly see a hidden door at the end of this metal thing's throat. Oh, it's got to be in the room behind it. That's probably what it is. Fat. Obese jokes aren't funny. They're hilarious. <laughs> okay, so okay, I see a door behind one of these rooms. I think it's behind my room. Oh, there it is. Hidden door. Nice. Now that we know, we can grab the steak. A T-bone steak. What will it do? I don't know, but we'll figure it out eventually. Um, let's go down. Uh, whose room have we seen? We. we oh, wait, hold on. I want to see how my friends are. Hi, I'm the man of one title, and this is a bad poster. Whether or not that poster's bad is moot. 
Oh, there, there, yeah, there's Zach right here. He's cold as shit. No, oh, let's come for him. <laughs> okay, all right, never mind. Ow, that always hurts. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wait, no. Oh, I almost forgot. Oh, wait, hold on. No, that's a, that's a second note. This is the first. Remember to feed Oswald, the monster. He only eats live meat, nitwit. Oh, I almost forgot. He doesn't eat what he can't smell. So find food with an aroma and put it where smell can easily spread. All right, thanks, Nitwit. You have anything on your bed? Oh, the last screw. Perfect. We're going to need that for some reason. Life transfer station. L living thing goes here. Dead animal. Oh, dead animal goes here. What the What the fuck? What kind of place is this? Uh, all right. A piece of note. To properly transfer life from a living thing to a dead animal, it's easy as one, two, and three. Put a living thing where the round arrow sign indicates. Put a dead animal where the other big arrow sign indicates. Press the arrow in the middle of the machine. Also know that the living thing dies when the dead animal comes to life. Okay, my brain needs is kind of hurting, but I think I know what I'm supposed, supposed to do. Uh, the power panel. Oh, we have the, the screws. There you go. Let's pop these fuckers in. No. Pop them in. Damn it. Gotta click. Grab that. Boom. There. We have power. So... You go here. Yeah, the dead animal goes there. I think this is how you do it. I think I might have to put the tray underneath the stake. Yeah, because that was simply a fail. I think there's a reason the meat didn't survive with the plant's life. Because the plant needs needs dirt. So you have to put this in there. Oh shit, I forgot to grab dirt. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> We're here to get dirt. There, we got soil. Dirt is like a dessert mix. It's just mud pie, just add water. Oh, whatever. Phil, come on, I don't want no mud pie. I want pumpkin pie. It's October, man. You already know, spoopy season. And like I told you, Riddle School doesn't count as a spoopy game. It is an exception to why we're playing it in on October. So, okay, now we can put the steak in the, the dirt. Then we can put that there. Hit the green button. Hey, nice. Bring the steak alive. A lot. What the fuck? That has legs. Ew. Uh, it's a uh, adorable. I mean, it's kind of cute, but I don't know. That steak looks fucking weird. All right. Okay. We need. Oh shit. This is not where we need to go. No, 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 no. I forgot to grab the damn thing. Come here, steak. We need to feed Oswald, the monster. This fucking thing. Yeah. So we need to put an aroma. What the fuck is that gonna help? You open the door. That gets me back in. It's a vent. So I'm assuming the food could be placed here. Nice. We go back. We hide. Since he can't see us. Then we close the fucking door. And you're trapped! I'm afraid dinner to go is not an option for you anymore. <laughs> Later, we're gonna yeet ourselves. This looks kind of crazy. What the hell? I could be wrong, but this looks important. Enter the children's dreams in the chair in the next room. Their dreams will only end in them. They meet doom. They got to kill them. What is clicking in my head? My friends are physically protected by barriers. Because of this, I can't directly wake them up. However, my dream that went on into college stopped when I was killed. Their dreams will only end in them. They meet doom. Which means... Oh, shit. In order to, for me to save my friends... I'll have to kill them from within their dreams. This got fucking heavy. Five, five, three. Boom! Entering Zach's dream. Here we go. Get into the chair. Accessing analyzing map system. Analyzation process complete. Riddle school through two or <laughs> Zach stream. I don't know why I have such a brain stroke here going on. What the fuck? Whoa. Just going back to these old art styles is actually crazy. I really didn't like middle school that much. I like to kill Zach fast so I don't have to repeat the seventh grade. 
That sounds morbid than it was supposed to. Right, but that doesn't matter because we just need to collect the quarters. That's one, two, three, four. We got a dollar and we get our trombone. Here's my whistle. Oh no, that's my trombone. I need the whistle. Here's my whistle for that dollar you got there. I don't actually use it anyways. Deja vu, what the fuck? I'm having deja vu. Here's your whistle back, Fred. I don't feel like stealing music from you at the moment. Oh, woohoo, woohoo, murder him. Finish him. <laughs> that's one man, that's one way to kill a man. Oh, oh God, we're back. Sweet mother Jesus. Oh, I remember smileys. It was one, eight, three, one. Nice. Oh, nice. I remember that off the top of my head. My brain meets, my film meets up in here is what helped me get through this. Dude, we're accessing, analyzing map system. Dude, this is like real school four all over again, except this is Riddle School 3, I think. Riddle School 3, Smiley's Dream. Nice! Oh, what the fuck? This is jarring. Ah, the familiar Mr. Soggy's class from my dream. If possible, I'm gonna kill Smiley quickly and painlessly. That sounds bad, but for a good cause, you know. It's important. We have to do it anyways. Okay, so remember last time we got the ruler and I think the stick of gum, the stick of gum, the chewing gum. We put the ruler together and then we use this to get into the van. There's no point to check everything again because we've been here already. And since now we know how to do the thing, we cannot continue. Nice manipulation at its best. We're gonna try. We're gonna change history. But we need to do it in order to kill Smiley. Hey, my Mr. Soggy. 360 no scope. Oh. Instant headshot. I'm blind. I can't see. Damn, it's Soggy. It's a fucking shame. Yo, Smiley. Oh no, Soggy's glasses fell onto the floor. I'm sure it's too bad he can't teach without them on. Oh yeah, Smiley's a education fanatic. Oh my god, we gotta kill her. Oh my god. <laughs> no, that sounds horrible. No, no. He's done. Oh my god, okay. Alright, yeah, sure, that works. Ugh. Man, that was a crazy dream. 7272, we're in. It's when, come on. I gotta get ready for. Kill stream. Wait a minute. She didn't have a dream. Ecstasy. What dream would he be in Riddle School 4? What the f. Hold on. That's not supposed to happen. He was never in Riddle School 4. Dude, it's crazy. At least now we're back to Riddle School 4 with more of a purpose. Oh, God. I remember this room. Somebody's here. I think class just hasn't started yet. Wait a minute. Yeah, Phil never had a seat in this classroom. So how is this his dream? That's a really good point. Hey, Phil. Is this Miss McMaster's room? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes, you're in the right place. Oh, cool. I just wanted to make sure I didn't get killed or something. He knows. He knows too much. We must murder him. Fuck, that, that's kind of a bit morbid. Hey, Fred. What's up? Uh, how have you been? Uh, not bad, not great, so I've been all right. My favorite thing to do right now is nothing. I discovered that that's hard to do when people act like morons. You are so right. <laughs> oh man, I'm glad me and Fred can get along so well. Ever seen a drooling platypus? I can't say that I have. I saw a galloping seahorse the other day, however. Drooling platypus beats galloping seahorses any day of the week. Well, in that case, I hope your drooling platypus chokes on its own spit. <gasps> Why would you say that? <laughs> you have to die in your dreams. So you get the dice to escape your dream. Uh, hold on, before we get to that, let's see what we got there. What are your plans for your future career? I'm thinking of trying to get some job that requires no talent at all. You know, music conductor, substitute teacher, abstract artist, stuff like that. Huh, <laughs> lol. It's funny because he ended up trying, he was supposed to do that. Uh, would you like to wear my sweatshirt? Your sweatshirt is quite nice, but I think I, it's sort of hot in here. 
Hey, it could be just be you, or there's just a pit of lava below the classroom. Eh, sounds pretty good either way. Oh, damn it, there is a pit of lava. It's actually directly right beneath them. And you see, this is a nice, comfortable hoodie. You guys should get one. Um, uh, what the heck? You have to die so you can escape your dream. Uh, I bet. But please explain what you mean. Uh, your life is a dream made of an organization. You forgot to wake up this morning. You only wore your underwear today. Disco pants are come back to style. The chances of that are lower than the chance of Rule School 5 coming out. Yeah, you see. Never mind. God damn it. All right. Well, we need to freaking make this cold in here. What the fuck? Disco no. Description of film actually given to me. Bald. Looks like this. It always wears green, and he needs to sit in the desk closest to the door so I can kill him. That's there. Oh, that's a bit jarring because he's right there. He looks kind of like me. He's bald. He's not wearing the green. Make it cold in here. Ha ha ha! Hello. This room is now relatively cold. Math poster. The answer to that problem most likely has numbers in it. Come on, Phil. The sky is dark and cloudy. An omen? Pro? Perhaps? It's like four sh foreshadowing but literally with shadows hey 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 Fred what's up uh, you like to wear my sweatshirt I guess it is a little cold in here and so does and your sweatshirt does look comfy all right hand it over I'll put it on before class starts few minutes late ha ah. now we're sitting and chilling the whole gang is all here and boy does he know we're about to dip like a potato chip uh Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm oh, sorry, Fred. You got it. You just got to. It was for the greater good. The greater good. Nice. Sweet. We're Mother Joseph. We're out. Ugh. I mean, that worked out pretty well. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get all our friends. Collect them. Get them. Dip. Zack, uh, Zack, you're awake. I, I, I died. Uh, it's because suddenly I felt cold. Uh, I thought you were always cold, Zack. I mean, like, really cold. Well, that doesn't matter now. We're in a space station. I, can exp I can't explain everything, but there are escape pods downstairs. Oh, really? I guess I can get going. Get, just go, Zack. Go, go, go. Get the fuck out of here. Go back to Earth. Hey, smiley, Smiley. Oh, don't be sad. Smiley, do you have any idea where we are? All I can say is I think I just woke up from a really long dream. Uh, sort of. We're subjects of a mind-altering from what I've gathered. Oh yeah, we're also not on Earth anymore, but that can be fixed. There are escape pods on the bottom floor of this facility. Oh, well, that's something to smile about. I guess I'll see you on Earth. Oh, nice. See ya, Smiley. We'll see you in a bit. Hopefully. Hey, Fred. Uh, hi. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Do you? I do know some things about altering dreams, but let's skip that part. That's not important, guys. We can, we, I mean, we kind of matrix ourselves into people's dreams, like intercept. What the hell is it called again? Uh, with Leonardo DiCaprio. But yeah, that. Conveniently for us, there are escape pods on the bottom floor of this place. I knew it. You always figure everything out before anything else does. Oh uh, well, thanks for the info. I'll, it'll be great to be somewhere familiar. All right, there. Gather our friends. Now we can leave. Let's get the H-E double hockey stick out of here. Come on. Escape pod. Finally. Freedom. Yes. We're out. Fuck you, alien spaceship. You're going to suck it. This facility is weird. No. 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 Come on. Why? Ah, oh, great. I mean, abducted by another alien spaceship by the same aliens. Come on, man. No! Smiley! Fred! Zack? Zack? Oh no. Oh, uh, this is a bit unnerving. Marvelous, really isn't it? I don't think so. The only thing Marvel is about anything is the Marvel. You know, the Avengers. You don't look much like a superhero yourself, you freak of nature. I am Viz, decider of your world's fate. This voice does hurt to do, but it is satisfying to know I can do it. Uh, nice to meet you. What exactly is going on here? Hmm. Why don't you ask that curly traitor over there? Oh. Oh god. Hi, curly traitor. Uh, I'll be taking this, thanks. Oh god, he's fast. What the fuck? Uh, so, Cowardly Trader, what exactly is going on here? 
I'm a traitor, but not to you. Ooh. My name is Diz. I forgot what voice I gave him. <laughs> I forgot. I'll give him a new voice. Uh, Diz, I recognize that name in this too. Weren't you in that meeting in the transmission before I woke up from my dream? You said you were planning to freeze planet Earth? None of this will make sense unless I start from the very beginning. It began with vision. Oh, Vision was a project started by our leader Viz, the one you just saw. He felt it was his duty to decide the fate of every planet in the universe. His planet by planet journey began with your planet Earth. Wait, so we're the first on the fucking list of blowing up if they want to? Like, come on. Nobody was in agreement to his plan, but of course we are under his rule. He gave his minions one chance to prove Earth wasn't worth erasing. Let me guess. We built a local time-stopping mine to, and set it outside of an earth school. And as it would turn out, the, the school was Riddle School, a, a Riddle Elementary School where you were. Our hopes was that nobody would escape this school. And we escaped! God damn it! Unfortunately, that day was the very same day you left school early. Time stopped. Uh, time throughout Earth stopped and Viz was convinced Earth had evil intent. He ordered us to abduct you and your friends before restoring Earth's time. Oh, come on, man. What is this? Viz had a plan to use your evils and powers against you to destroy Earth. We had to look into your minds, hence the idea of giving you altered dreams. We even changed your clothes a few times to see if it affected your thoughts. Well, it did, because I thought it was real life. Who would have thought? So it was Viz all along with these plans? What does you, your, what? I'm pretty sure. What does you becoming a traitor come into the equation? Yeah. Why are you trading? Betraying your own leader? Death was the only thing that could separate you from your dream. Alterations can, to dreams can be easily detected by just about anybody. So I could only wake you up if I killed you in your dream. After all, death is the only thing that could wake any of you up. Oh man. Oh, that was in real school 3. I did not go unseen whoever. Get the fuck out of here. That's so, that's so I like just put together by whatever you got. It was only a matter of time before I was found out. <laughs> He's just right there behind us. I went the full mile and altered the mind of your of Mr. Munch, your last te dream teacher. I sat behind you and watched the execution to be sure everything went well. Well, little well. Well, God damn it! Yeah, that is why you didn't see me when you went to the same room in Fred's dream. By that time, I was was where I'm standing now. Can I read, like, for once? The transmitter message you heard was a recording from another time. I transmitted it to you again when I knew you were about to wake up. I did it so that you would know Viz's plan for your world. And now he's taking Zack's freezing genes to power up a giant laser. Not long from now, it will have charged enough to freeze Earth. Dude, we cannot let Earth freeze because I thought it was okay to escape school. I only... I have only been trying to help you so you could help, so you could save your friends. Good job. <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> he just became an asshole in like two seconds. Oh god. Uh, is that laser charging? If nothing is done, your world will be solid ice. Not cool. God damn it. What do you want, Viz? Sorry, Diz. The window view is reserved for the children. Oh god, you just yeeted the fuck out of him. I'm so sorry, I ran out of cage to trap you and your friends in. You'll still enjoy the show, won't you? Uh, I highly doubt that. <laughs> I highly doubt that. I don't want to see my Earth get freaking frozen into a goddamn giant ice pop. I'm sure it will be an unforgettable spectacle, which is why I plan to watch it on my own shit without distractions. <laughs> Prepare yourself for the grand finale. It's showtime. You can just burn in the lava, but he's still on the ship, isn't he not? Or did he take a pod? He took a fucking pod. What the fuck? How does that make sense? Whatever. Dude, we are on a mission to save Earth. Okay, we gotta get this done first, and this is gonna take the longest time. Yes! I got it! 
Oh my god, that took forever, but I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. Wow, really? Hardest puzzle? Really? You're gonna give me that fucking difficult shit, but you give me this? Come on, man! Whatever, whatever. We got this. Oh, wait, I can't reach that from here. But I got this. Wait, wait, give me this. And I need... Oh, wait, these have screws. Perfect. Nice. I can take the faucet? Nice! That drain looks like a black hole to me. What goes in probably never comes out. Yeah, imagine just getting stuck in there and just... <laughs> Jeez, Louise. I don't want to be in there. Alright, let's get up. Uh, okay. So it's like this. Boom! Nice! The heck? That was a mugshot if I ever saw one. Alright, Phil. You earned that one for the best fucking joke of the goddamn year. Do I have anything I could use to piece these shirts together? I do. I have toothpaste. I don't know how this is even supposed to work, but whatever. We got a mug. We can attach the mug to this. We can grab lava. Hot lava java coming right up. It's amazing this mug I watch break can hold lava without melting. Just don't, don't ask how physics work. It just does. Now we can use the lava on this. Boom! Open this shit. We got the key. Which we can now use it on this. Bada boom, bada bang. Let's do our thing. Yes! Yes! Clear the lava. This is actually a very quick area, but that puzzle down there takes freaking forever. I don't think there's I don't think there's anything I can do to save Smiley or Fred right now. But maybe we can if we just steer the ship. Come on, steer it together, guys. Okay, there we go. Aim right at him. <laughs> Directly at his bitch ass. Oh, look at you standing there menacingly. I'm just smugging because I'm like this bitch about to get. Soon this planet will be covered in a coat of ice. Yeah. Because evil doers deserve a taste of their own evil. Man, you ever hear a thing called karma and irony? You're about to fucking get it! Hit him with it! Oh, nice! Frozen as ice! Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> God damn, you got fucked! Oh, it's this! Amazing! You save Earth and dispose of our wretched leader simultaneously! I managed to escape with this remote that I found that used to be Viz. Where you could just say Viz remote. I don't know why you gotta be extravagant, but you're an alien. Excuse me! I'm sorry! I didn't mean to offend you. Maybe I can use this remote to free your friends. Yeah, that would be a good idea. With all that's happened today, that's not a bad assumption. Well, give it a go. It's worth a shot. No, don't be sad. You guys are free. Deck two. Oh shit! <laughs> what the hell? I'm pretty sure I know how to drive the ship we're in. You'll be all be back to your homes before you know it. I'm not cold anymore. This feels amazing. Oh, oh god, <laughs> he's on fire. I may have learned something from this experience. Friends really come from anywhere. Even space. Oh, Smiley, you're such a something, aren't you? All my life I've been devoting to doing as little as possible. Witnessing everything Phil has done has really helped me realize even a world as big as ours can be affected by what one person does. That is true. You know, you guys have to realize, you know, you as a person, just because you don't seem like much against life itself, you can make a big difference. I mean, I'm just a guy making YouTube videos, and if you guys smile, that's a difference that I, at least I'm glad to make. I guess I could, I should say, I learned a lot from this experience. My hair looks weird, what the hell? There we go. Well, really, one lesson I learned today really stands out to me. I hope he really knows that one lesson and he learned it really good. Stay in school. Remember guys, stay in school. Oh man. 
a little walk through memory lane for what Phil has witnessed through as a dream and realizing what what the wait hold on what the fuck flying pig what the hell is this come on man credits yeah that was middle school five i hope you guys enjoyed that one i know i did it's really lengthy i think this game and definitely riddle transfer one which is the next one we'll be playing aka riddle school six if you want to be specific about it but i think they're the two longest games and they're really good so i'll be excited to be playing that one soon um, I don't know when, I, I just thought about, I don't know when I'll be playing it, but hopefully very, very soon. Music, songs have been edited from release files for better effect. Yep, true. Hey, this music kind of groovy though, I like it. Kind of like, you know, got a little happy tune. Ooh, so, yeah. Oh man, this is fun, this is fun. I enjoyed it. I, I do appreciate you guys for waiting out this long to see me play Real School 5. I know I started this series back when Riddle School had its anniversary with Riddle School 1 back in May. So it's been a while. We're now in October, Mugtober, if you know, since we're here all together joining this month together. Um, yeah, uh, it'd be great to see what, it's, what, what the other games are going to offer because it's been a while since I played them. I'll be super excited. Uh, I don't know why I keep saying I'll be super excited. I am super excited and I'm just waiting to dive my freaking fingertips onto my mouse to point and click my way through to escape whatever I'm in. So yeah. Oh, Tom Folk, that's cool. Got a lot of special things. Yoshi. <laughs> Yoshi. Riddle School 5. There you have it, folks. There you have it. That's all it's said and done. Beat this game in. Okay, you guys did not need to see that. Woo! Yeah, we got the special features. What do we got in here? Don't have a clue what just happened. Uh, Real School Storyline is far-fetched. Perhaps this section will help you make sense of it or not. Retrospective thoughts. Rejected Riddle games. Top of the three biggest misconceptions. And then you have the other games. Real rejected <laughs> Riddle Attorney. God damn it. You know, Capcom's eight attorney games like Phoenix Ray and Miles Edgeworth. I was going to try and make a fill in a tourney in a game just like that my reason for trashing one the idea wasn't the least bit original someone who escapes school shouldn't be in an attorney three i made phil completely out of character four thinking of decent plot line full of twists for games a whole lot harder than i could have imagined riddle company wow if phil just wanted to be out of work so bad he couldn't he just quit oh yeah good point riddle i riddle manor Riddle Mansion, Riddle Retold, interesting. Riddle Retold, what the fuck? Riddle School 3 plus 1, ew, what the, what is that? Riddle School 5, <laughs> Riddle University, damn. Oh well, alright, that's cool to see. Three biggest misconceptions. Uh, the coins in Riddle School 2 don't add up to 75 cents. They do, they do add up to 75. Real School 4 is an April Fool's joke. It is. It's true. It, it does. It's part of the series. It's like, it's weird. It, it is part of the series. It is a joke, but you know, Smiley is a guy. No, Smiley is a girl. Whatever. Everybody knows this. Whatever. Uh, that's going to be it for this. Hold on. That's going to be it for this video of Riddle School 5. I hope you guys are excited and will be waiting for me to play Riddle Transfer 1. I almost said Riddle School 6 for some reason. Riddle School 5. is a bit of a lengthy game in this session has been long enough as it is so we're gonna just cut it as fast as possible so you guys enjoy this video make sure you guys hit that fucking like button because the boy over here well appreciate it and if you guys are new to this channel make sure you guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below so you guys don't miss out on every upload that i put out i'll be playing the rest of the real school games so if you guys really want to see me play riddle transfer one make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe and you guys will not miss that upload and see what we got for the rest of Mugtober where we play spoopy games. But as always, I'll see all you beautiful muggies in the next one. Bye bye. Don't worry, Phil. It's only a, a bye for now. Hey, don't look depressed. Hey, hey, don't give me that look. What's wrong with you?